Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can make the custom facets and what are they and how we have to use them and everything about that and some points we are will catch up from the official website also. So first of all I am just going to show you uh, what are the steps we have to do for uh, making a custom facet. So first of all we have to create a custom file and we have to bind this file with the service provider then we have to register it in the config file and after that we have to make a facet file with uh, extending the this class all right and after that we have to register this class also as an alias inside the config.php and after that we will test it simply all right so now let's see what us are the facets so if you just are just checking on the official website then you will find that and uh, a statement that facets provide a static interface to the class that are available inside the application service provider. That simply means facets are uh, available inside the service containers. All right, so we have to make a service provider for that. Second thing, these are the static interface also. All right, so we can directly call like this. So as you know that uh, these, uh, I'll just clear, clear it out these scope resolution method that we are just calling the static uh, property or static function all right so we can just call it like this and for that you never just need to uh, include some headers and footer if you just want to check that uh, you never have to provide the use and namespace and for that you can just directly put it like here this and you can call the function name of your facets and it will uh, work directly all right so uh, if you just uh, worked with the coordinator then uh, the similar thing are the helpers also so now let's start with the code all right so i'm just going to pull it off okay so first thing what we have to do as our uh, steps so first of all we have to create a file and for uh, making the steps easier i'm just going to create a folder and in this folder i'm just i will create everything inside it so I'm just going to make a folder like the name of Lara demo okay and inside this folder I'm just going to make my first file for uh, uh, a custom facet which is Lara demo dot PHP all right and here just start your PHP tag simply you don't need to close it and just write here namespace and namespace your path of your folder which is the app and lara or demo which is a folder path all right now just create a class name and class name should be with the same name of the file so just create the lara demo here and with the lara demo just create a function which is which can be public uh, and function and you can just call a function like say hello okay perfect and after that when you just make it then you can just echo something like uh, hello from custom facet uh, how I have to write this facet effect and just after doing that we actually uh, go have to the second steps and we need to make a service container and service container i'm just going to name with the laravel demo and for that we have to just write a command which is uh, php artisan make provider and your provider name which is the lara demo service provider whenever i'm just going to hit it it tell that service price we will be created and if i'm going to check it you can just check it inside the provide app inside of the providers and here you can see that uh, Lara demo is here perfect whenever you just get it you have to first of all import uh, your uh, facet here so just write here app Lara demo and after that uh, you have to just put your file name and file name is also same so you can just put here Lara demo again that's great and just go inside the register uh, function and here you have to bind your uh, your uh, class so then just write here dollar this app and 
let us use bind function and bind function have the two parameters so that's my bad i just have to use like this and it have the two parameters for, uh, first is the name and it should be the small array demo and as a second parameter you can use the n numbers function just right here function and just write here return and inside that oh that's my bad return new array demo all right and just make it as a constructor okay now this is uh, ready for now and now let's go for the next step so for in the next step what we have to do uh, we now just have to go on the config.app.php and we just just simply have to uh, register it so i'm just going to be uh, open the config and just click on the app.php and uh, just simply write just copy the above class and you can simply just write here you uh, find your service uh, service provider and just simply write here app service provider and this okay and this is in class if if this is will be the function then it can be the function but now this is in class perfect and after this that what actually we have to do now we have to make uh, our uh, facet file all right so for the facets file uh, just simply go inside the same folder and just make a new file name uh, you can take the new file name is a uh, lara uh, demo or uh, facet all right dot php perfect and this is in the same folder so first of all we have to provide the namespace here so just write your php tag here and provide the namespace and here you just write here class and in the class uh, just uh, the class name should be the same name as then uh, function uh, your uh, file name so that it should be same and then extends and extends would be the facet so just write your facet facade okay so and uh, just simply take it as in class and just write a protected static function so just write here protected and static function and function name should be the similar because this is the facade class so just write here get facade uh, accessor perfect and just return simply your just simply return your lara demo perfect okay so now this point point is also done and now we have to register the uh, this thing also uh, in the app.php so just come back to here and I'm just going to copy and paste the previous one and just going to change the name Lara demo and here you can just simply write here Lara demo here right so now every point should be done here nothing is left so it's the time to be test so let's test it so before I'm just going to test it I just want to cover up the everything and just want to check cross check the things that maybe I just forgot to do something so first of all uh, we just have to create the Lara demo file and we have to make a function on its inside and after that we have to just uh, perform the uh, register it and we have to make a service provider here perfect and after that we have to make a facet class yep i think uh, in the facet class we have to just extend this one all right so i'm just going to put it here just use and this all right and after that we have to register it on site the app dot js okay at the last and uh, i think i just have to provide the folder name which is the lara demo okay so 
now I'm just going to try to refresh it this is fine now let's open the web.php and uh, just try it is it working or not so I'm just going to comment it out here my main class and just putting the Lara demo which we which is we just made and the function name is uh, let me check what is my function name mm, say hello all right so just come to come back to the web.php and just write it here okay and now it should be the output the which is the hello from the custom facet yep you can see that this is the perfect and we can just make some if you just want to make some good things like uh, addition subtraction or everything whatever you want we can easily do here okay so here you can write your any common thing that you want to use and you can just you don't need to call some uh, import something or use something just use this and you can use uh, you are able to use it forever in your web uh, whole application so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box thanks for watching this